Welcome back to Farm Up with me, Dr. Daniel, the passionate farmer. <laughs> ah, it's amazing. Well, I quit my job as a medical doctor to focus on this thing called farming and it is so satisfying. Oh my God, there is nothing better than this. So currently I'm moving through a passion fruit garden. They call it a garden. In the end, the most important thing is knowing what the purpose is. And in here, we have passion fruits. I don't know if you can see some of the passion fruits, you know. We have a passion fruit right here. This wasn't very ripe, but there's lots of them that have dropped at the bottom. There is two right here, one here and another one here. And they are littered all over the floor, you know. You can see another one right here. I'm going to go and wash these ones and feed on them. During the night, usually they drop all the ripe ones, you know. Their stalk becomes very, very weak and they will drop off the tree and they will fall down. So in the morning, you'll find them littered around the garden and these are very lovely passion fruits. You don't need to go and buy processed juice from the market, no. Everything is ready. So you just pick them up, just like I've picked up these three. You go clean them up and make some very, very tasty passion juice. Oh, you can also just decide to eat them raw <laughs> without processing them, just like I'm going to do, okay? So let me just go and wash them up. And now they're ready to be feasted upon, so i just show you what one looks like. Unfortunately, they have just one hand, so it's going to be quite hard to open it up. I love to use my teeth, you know? Ah. See what it looks like. Very nice, you know? It looks very lovely. Just take a look at it. Very lovely. It's just ready to be eaten. And this, you can just eat it up like. It's lovely. Oh my God, it's lovely. You just suck out the seeds and you swallow them up. Lovely. I just finished everything. Look in. So I won't hurt you guys. I know <laughs> a lot of you want to join me and finish. I'll keep them and eat them later. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you around the gardens. You know, the rains have just started. There's quite some things that we had already planted because we have lots of water around so we could water, but then there's a lot of other things that we couldn't plant. So since the rains have started, we have started preparing to plant. So come on, I'm going to show you around our gardens. So yes, as you might see, a lot of the place is actually just being cultivated. Not much has been planted in some of the areas. I can see stuff that has been planted here. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I have a few colleagues around. They're preparing the gardens. But let's go and talk to one of them. Okay, so I have two friends over here. I have James over there. James, just wait for us like that. Yeah, that's James. And I have Fred over here. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So Fred, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, um, are you enjoying the work? Yeah, of course. Okay, so first tell us what you're doing. So here we are. We are preparing for mm. planting cabbage. Okay. Yeah. So what was here before? It was green pepper. Here we had green pepper, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So you're now preparing. When are you going to be planting the cabbage? Tomorrow. Isn't it late? Aren't you late? No, it is not late. It's not late, eh? Yeah, because it is the rainy season. It's the rainy season? Yeah. Okay, good. I see there there is a garden. What have you planted there? There? Mm. It was the buffalo. Oh my god, I don't know why that is. <laughs> Basero, eh? Yeah. But they eat the leaves. Ah, they just eat the leaves, eh? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good. So, um, well done, you can continue with your work. Yeah. Thank you. So guys, that's uh, Fred over here. They are preparing the garden, they are doing some digging. And like I said, they are going to plant cabbage over here. We had uh, green pepper right here. Let's go around and I'll show you some of the other things that we have around in the gardens. Right here we have, well, bushes. <laughs> This hasn't yet been prepared. And then over here we have cabbage. That has overstayed. I think you have a few pests feeding on it. You can see the cabbage, right? Um, it's really messy. 
but it has overstayed in the garden like really it has really overstayed but it can still be eaten it's just the top that has been messed up with this we can give to the chickens you know uh, we give it to the chickens a lot and then at the end right there we have kale I love kale I really do love kale okay now this one has really overgrown it hasn't started flowering. I think it flowered and it got done with the flowering season. Yeah, it certainly did flower. You can see this. This certainly. These were pods. You can see? These were pods that came off. So it flowered and I think the seeds were removed and they were planted somewhere else. Again, all that is kale. And then let's move over to the other side. Here you can see that we have green pepper. Oh my god, the green pepper fruits go on when they are still very tiny. This is green pepper. This has been infected by a pest. I don't know why. You can see here, we have green pepper on the plants. Then this, I don't know what's going to be planted here, you know. There is someone in charge of the garden and you know, he has total authority over what happens here. So I don't know what he's going to plant over here. The place has been divided up in very interesting sections. These look a bit more squarish and those at the end a bit more rectangular-ish. I swear, I have no idea what it is. But when he's done planting, I'll certainly come back and tell you guys. So, I'll come and tell you guys what he has planted over here. Here again, we do have kale in the background. A lot of it. And again, over there, we do have cabbage. Lots of vegetables around. <laughs> I know you guys are used to seeing the animals on the farm. It's rare that I move around, show you guys what's happening in the gardens. I'm usually sharing a lot of the chickens, you know, the guinea fowls, the geese, the goats and sheep. The cattle, so you might think that we only feed on meat. No, that would never be healthy enough. Okay, so we do feed on lots and lots of vegetables, like you've seen. We have cabbage over here. Last season we planted watermelon, but this season I don't think we have planted any watermelon yet. Though we do have watermelon seeds, seedlings in the bed. So I'm sure we're going to be planting some watermelon. A lot of the area hasn't been cleared, a lot of it is bushy. For example, over there just over the kale this is the kale after the kale all that is very bushy but that can be cleared in <laughs> in one day or even less than one day we just need a tractor to go through and then we shall be ready to plant then over here you can see that we have tomatoes you see the tomatoes yeah growing very nicely I know the rain season has just started but because we do have water around that enables us to you know do watering we can plant even when it's dry then here we have onions okay you can see the onions so these are onions you can see them growing up very nicely these are really big onions and then we have more tomato gardens over there that in the background like i told you is a passion fruit garden i love that very beautiful and right there poppers popper fruits i think in some countries they call it papaya very very lovely fruit over here we have another um bed it has some vegetables this one is another bed with onions and this is a banana plantation over here i've told you guys many times that this is probably my best food you know i can eat bananas every day for an entire year and I won't get fed up of them. It's not like rice. I really detest rice. Um, I really don't like rice. So, but for bananas, I can eat them every day for an entire year and I won't have a problem. So we have lots and lots of bananas. This is a young plantation. We just planted it recently. You know, a few months back, maybe in August or September. And then behind here, we have the older plantation. You can see it has taller trees. And in this plantation, we have mainly the small tiny yellow bananas. They are very, very sweet and tasty. And inside here in the plantation, we've also planted beans, you know, intercropping. We've planted beans inside here to help us provide food for the workers who are on the farm, you know, for everyone who is on the farm, because we have lots and lots of people working inside the poultry with the cattle. So we need to feed them. And of course, it just makes sense that if you have the space, why not grow the food yourselves? And then also, over there, we do have cassava. Now, it's quite hard to see from here, but I'll make sure you see it. We do have cassava and lots of people call cassava a herb. You know, when they see a picture of it, they think it's a vegetable. No, guys, cassava is not a vegetable. I know in the developed world, it's not something that you eat a lot. Over here, we eat it a lot. It's a root and it has 
proper starch it is a carbohydrate lots and lots of carbohydrate lots of starch inside it so uh, we have lots of cassava it's very nice to change i would rather eat cassava than eat rice i really detest rice and also we have sweet potatoes on the farm i know sweet potatoes are very common so yes, that was a very very brief show around our garden area you can see a bush behind me but trust me in three days there won't be a bush here because the tractor can do this in just minutes. It can clear it out and then the following day we can very very easily plant. We have lots of manure around so from the goats, from the chickens, from the cattle, lots and lots of organic manure so we don't need to buy any fertilizer, nothing like that. It ensures that there is lots of productivity on the farm. We have a very very nice outcome when we do plant things. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload catch you very soon with another video lots of love bye, -bye.